Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Finally have the sun out today. We've had rain for about three, four straight weeks. So I haven't really been able to film this last video of me going through and shooting all my arrows that I just made. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna shoot them through paper. I'm gonna start picking out my best six and I'll do a little bit knock tuning if I need to do that. I really don't think I will because I spine aligned all of them already. And these victory arrows, as I mentioned before, come with the spine aligning on them. And actually it lined up very well with what my do-it-yourself spine aligning tool showed. So that being said, if you've already watched the first three videos, and this is your fourth video you're watching here, and you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate y'all watching and all your support. So again, with all the rain, the mosquitoes are everywhere. So I went ahead and just sprayed myself down in some DEET. I'm gonna get the archery target set up here. I have my do-it-yourself archery target. I did my paper stand on top, and then I've got just a little bag target in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the paper set up, and we will start taking some shots through paper. So when I go to do this, I'll shoot one arrow at a time. If I get a bullet hole right off the bat, great. I'll go shoot the second one, see how that one does. And I'll just go see how kind of all the arrows are doing. And then I'll pick probably the worst arrow and I'll start making my adjustments off of that. You know, I'll, I'll move my rest a little bit. You know, I, again, I'll want to make sure my grip is in a good spot because that was one of the big issues at the beginning is just making sure I have a good, good grip there. Um, so I'm going to just start picking these arrows and shooting them through paper here. And then I will take the worst one and I will start tuning that by moving my rest. If you have a different bow that has some technology, like some of these new flagship bows, you can use that to adjust your left and right and then move your rest for up and down a little bit. So you're not messing with your center shot. For me, I've got a pretty basic bow here. So I'm just gonna have to use the rest to make any adjustments once I know that I've got a good grip. All right, so here's all my shots. I started one down here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So as you can see, they are all very consistent. You know, one looks to be one of my best shots. And then really all these here are pretty bad. So I may start with four, that looks to be the worst. Start with four and start tuning that in to get a bullet hole. And then once I do that, I'll test all the other arrows. So again. just as reference for tuning, I've got this knock right and low tear. So I'm going to start with the left and right first. So I'm gonna start by moving my rest to the left or away from the riser. And that's because I'm a righty. And so a knock right tear for a righty is move your rest to the left. So with this Hamsky rest, I loosened up that bolt there with an Allen wrench and then I twisted this knob so the rest started moving to the left there. I went ahead and did that and didn't move it much. And my first shot is almost a complete bullet hole. So I'm gonna take a few more and make sure we're good to go. And then I will adjust if I can up a little bit to try and get that to be a complete bullet hole. So I've got my arrows laid out one through 12 here on the ground again. I think I got my worst arrow to be a bullet hole pretty much. So I'm gonna go through and shoot all 12 again and see how well they shoot. And if they're good to go, then I'll throw some fletchings on them and I'll do a little bit of paper tuning from a further distance with fletchings. And I'll just start working my way back to about 20, 30 yards or so. And then basically I'm ready to go. Honestly, this has gone so far a lot quicker than I was expecting. Cross my fingers that these work out well. Um, Typically, this is a lot longer of a process, but hopefully with going with these new arrows and being very detailed in my setup this year, that this will be pretty simple and straightforward and I'll pretty much be ready to just start practicing for hunting season. This was all practice stuff down here. This was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight kind of shot together, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12. So as you can see, I don't know if I got tired and it turned into me stuff or if these 
Three arrows were just shooting a little bit better. That one shot okay there. But these were pretty rough in here. So I'm gonna do a little bit more testing. Uh, may move my rest a tad bit more, or I may shoot some of these bad ones here in the middle again and just see if I can make some adjustments. Um, otherwise, I'm pretty happy with these first three here, but I'm really trying to get six really good arrows here. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit more testing and we'll see what I come up with. All right, guys, so this is a little messy, but I'll just go through it. We had one, two, that was me. I kind of yanked the trigger a little bit. Three, four, five, six, seven. So eight was actually pretty good. It was a bullet hole here. Well, the nine, I yanked again, and it uh, was a little too close. So I started nine over back here, and I still have that kind of low left tear a little bit and then 10, 11, and then 12 was good. So you can see I'm pretty close. I may have a low tear a little bit, so I'm gonna try and get that out. But my left right seems really good besides this one on nine that kind of did that and that. And 11 looks like it had a little bit of a right tear, so that may have been me again. So I may try nine and 11 again, but I'm gonna do a uh, drop the rest a tad bit more and see if I can pull this uh, quarter inch low out. I reshot 11 here and nine. I still have that low left. So nine's definitely gonna be a practice arrow because I came back and I shot, um, I think this was three. I just grabbed one and shot it and still has a tad low. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with these tears for a uh, bear shaft paper tune. Y'all just saw me do my paper tuning bear shaft Again, I'm about six feet or so from the paper. I'm using my new arrows that are the Victory V-Force Gamers. I've got the Luminox in them to mimic kind of how I will be hunting as well. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the paper tears I have. I would say they're not perfect. They may need to be a tad low, but again, I'm gonna put on some fletchings and I may make some adjustments as I shoot at 20 and 30 yards may do a little bit of walk back tuning or something like that too and I'll show you all a video of that if I end up doing it but all in all I'm pretty happy I would say 90% of these arrows I'm willing to take out and hunt with there's a couple in here that I showed y'all that just seemed to be a little more finicky I tried to knock tune it a little bit and really where I had it was kind of the best spot I may mess with it a little bit more and see if that helps at all I actually do have a couple of Luminox in here uh, that I think the batteries are out. So those will turn into practice arrows as well. But I'm gonna go put my fletchings on. I may show a little bit of video of me doing that. And my philosophy there is pretty simple. You know, I, I want to try and get far enough back on there where it's not gonna touch my face. It's not gonna touch if you have a beard, it's not gonna hit your beard or anything like that. So, and you wanna be consistent on all your arrows. I think I go down about an inch and a half, two inches, and that's where I start. I'll draw back and see if I have any issues with clearance and I'll adjust from there. And then basically I'll draw a line on here since I'm using those Zinger fletchings. I'll just slide them on and tell you exactly where I end up putting them. And I will show you what the total weights are and basically wrap this video up. Back upstairs. I am going to reweigh these arrows, one through 12. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put them in order of weight so that I can get the fletchings put on. So it looks like we're ranging from 537.2 at the lowest to 538 at the highest. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in order here so that I know that this is the lowest to highest and I can kind of follow the same process. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the lightest fletching with the heaviest arrow and go all the way down the line. So I took a measurement of my other arrow where I know I like the fletching and I'm at about a one and a quarter from the top of the fletching to the end of the shaft. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these on and get them to right around one and a quarter. You can make a mark if you want, or just measure each one now as you do it. Should be good. 
And so I will go through, do all these, and then I will weigh each one and show you the FOC of these arrows. So I got the fletchings on. I've written down all my arrow weights. I am sitting between 550.2 at the lowest, and I have two arrows right at 552, but really everything is on that 550.2 to 550.8. Um, I can read through some of these. So 550.2, 0.5, 0.8, 0.5, 0.3, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22